The Sound of Mull is a band of water nestled between the Isle of Mull and Loch Allen. It's 360 degrees of beautiful views. Well, the dive centre started in 1985 and that really serviced just people that wanted to come diving in the Sound of Mull and I've owned it for the last 10 years and in the last year we've decided to open up this amazing Sound of Mull and the marine environment we have here to people that don't want to go under the water but perhaps just want to have a look and see what's down there. I think everyone should come because it's a really good experience, everyone can enjoy it. We've had little kids at six up until like adults who have had bad experiences in the water in the past and they've really enjoyed it. Um, we have a lot of groups that come and uh, we let them you know, have, have a look and see what's under the water. And they're, they're so amazed, there's so much life there. Just in a few metres of water, the water's really clear and there's just, it's all going on down there, you know, fish and crabs and urchins and all the little hydroids are all feeding off each other and the nudibranchs, it, it's just amazing. And we, we do um, like survey what's here as well. And we know we've got some really unusual species of sea slugs and things like that. And uh, I think everybody should, should know about that. And snorkeling is a really easy way to yeah. get people to know about that. I think what you're going to see later on, there's a wreck that's lying just two metres beneath the surface. It's quite amazing. So tell me a bit about this shipwreck that we're going to be seeing. OK, this is one of four shipwrecks on this little island um, because islands and rocks tend to attract shipwrecks. And uh, we've the one we're diving on is called the Ballista and she sank in 1975 and she was actually salvaging another shipwreck that had a cargo of coal. She was out here trying to nick the coal from the older wreck. To nick the coal? Yeah, oh, okay. or salvage the coal yeah. is the proper term. And um, got into trouble and sank on top. So it's actually two wrecks on top of each other, which is really cool. Wow. Um, but around the corner from this wreck is a wreck that sank in 1690 which is a historic wreck and that's been archaeologically excavated over the, over the years and also the wreck of a, a ship called the Thesis and she sank in 1889 so just on one little island you've got all that history you know 400 years worth of history all captured in one little place in the Sand of Mull and that's indicative of, of the Sand of Mull it's like that there's Armada, Cromwellian, merchant ships, you know wartime losses there was convoys here in the Second World War, you know, it all happened. And the, the, the seaway here is, just, just tells the whole story of the West Coast. If we can get that story out to people, like, I think that's really good. Well, we're only a few hours from Glasgow City Centre and it's like we're in another world. The sun's shining, the water's feeling rather warm now and it is absolutely glorious. We're just back from our snorkel safari. We were there with the Loch Island Dive Centre and it was an amazing day. The sun was shining, we had glorious weather and I urge anyone, if you have the opportunity to, come down and give it a go.